Hi everyone. So over here, this, starting from here, going all the way over there, is the deployment for the Cha uh, impass light, or the Chameleon impass light. This uh, particular counterpoise is 60 feet long. Not elevated, but on the ground. I guess it's a counterpoise, I guess. Um, definitely you can lift it, but it would be too much strain on the spike here. So here we have the white version of the uh, Cha Impasse light with a 17 foot whip. And so the deployment is very long. Uh, and here we have uh, cable coax. Now let's look at the uh, SWR chart. Okay, so let's go here at uh, close to 3.8. 3.8, oh, here we go. So 3.8 megahertz, which is, which is in the 80 meter band. SWR 3.92, a little bit high, actually a bit too high for the IC705. Definitely if you have a tuner, you can easily, uh, or even a built-in tuner, you can easily uh, get that down. Uh, the, let's see, the 40 meter band at 7125. Yeah, that's a little bit lower, a little too low. Well, it's close enough, right? There we go, 7.17, 7.17 megahertz, which is in the 20, which is, I'm sorry, which is in the 40 meter band, 40 meter band. Uh, SWR 3.756, which is um, just a little bit too high. Definitely, I would not use that for the IC705. And when I deployed this in another part of the park, it was a little bit lower, actually. It was at 3.1 something. Um, I don't know why. It must be the ground. It did rain a couple of days before that. Could be the conductivity of the of the ground might be better. Uh, so ground conditions definitely make a difference. Uh, how much of a difference? I'm still trying to read up on that. Let's go to four. Let's go to 14. Um, 14.15 or close to it. Uh, this is the 20 meter band. That's good. 14.256, 14.256 megahertz. SWR 2.11, which is it's acceptable. That I can definitely use on my IC705. Let's go to the 17 17 meter band, which is 18.1. Let's go over here. This is close enough. 18.04. Yes, it's not on the 17 meter band, but it's very close to it. SWR of 1.79 SWR. And you can see it's in that ballpark. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's gonna be what? 17 meter band, let's go to the 15 meter band at 2127, right? 21, 21.4, um, 21, 21.42, uh, that's good enough for the 15, um, this is for the 15 meter band, we got an SWR of 1.60, uh, not bad, that's, that's pretty good actually, uh, so that's the 15 meter band, let's go to the 12 meter band, 12, 9, 20, right? 12, 9. 12 meter band, 24.93. zero for the 12 meter band mm -hmm. okay again close enough right I know it's not in the 12 meter band but 25.07 megahertz SWR 1.816 so probably be a little bit lower at the edge of the 12 meter band right which is at 24.990 okay so 10 
Let's go to the 10 meter band, which is much wider, 28.3, 28, 28.8, yes, that's within the 10 meter band. You have an SWR of 2.93, which is a little bit kind of high. Um, definitely, I would not use my IC705 without a uh, tuner. And then let's go over here at this, e at this edge. And we got uh, 48, 48.3 megahertz. Which, a, which has an SWR of 1.35. So, one of the things that uh, the a Chameleon Impass Light has to offer is that it's very compact. You can put it in, inside of a, a one gallon lunch bag, except for the 17 foot antenna. But the coax, the spike, transformer which I believe is a 9 to 1 unknown that's what I've read and the 60 foot coax cable can we all be put in the bag the only thing that um, I would be concerned about if I had an IC705 and I did not want to bring a tuner then this is not the antenna for you if you have a tuner great if you have something like a KX2 with a with the ATU that will definitely tune, even at the 80 meter band. Imagine that. Now, how efficient is it on the 80 meter band? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Um, one other thing that I'm not too, like, pretty concerned about is that you have a 60 foot long um, cable, right? Or counterpoise, which somebody could trip. Uh, and then if somebody you know, accidentally trips on it, your antenna is going to fall and your whip, which is, you know, aluminum, most likely, will probably bent if uh, it goes the wrong way. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the ends or the, the end of this and just uh, fold it in half. Or maybe give it an L shape curve. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in an L shaped curve, maybe, or let's do it kind of like a V shape. How about that? V shape. Uh, close to a V shape. That's definitely close to a V-shape. And let's look at the SWR chart. Now, that, I would be more comfortable putting it that way because people won't maybe trip on it as easy. Or if they too, do touch the wire, there's some slack. So this is gonna take a little while. We do, uh, I'm doing 1200 points. While it's doing that, uh, consider subscribing or uh, consider liking this video. There's also other videos that I've posted on the uh, Empass uh, Cha or Chameleon Empass Light with radials, without radials, with extensions on the 17 foot antenna. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> Nothing. Did you see that? It did not change at all. So. You can probably zigzag it most likely. Let's look at the seven megahertz or the 40 meter band. Oh, it's around here somewhere. Seven, two, SWR 3.7, not that great. 14, uh, 14, two megahertz, SWR 2.10, that's acceptable. Let's go with the 10 meter, 10 meter band at 28.3, a little, a little bit. Um, yeah, 28, 20, 28, 3, right? 28, so let's go here, come on. 28, 28, 6, 28, 6. SWR of 2.91, and as you can see, it's climbing even more. So, if you're still watching this video, 
thank you very much for doing that. I really appreciate um, you watching. One thing I would like to know is how do how can I shift this to the left? Now you would think, why don't you put you know lift your radio? No, no, not lift your radio. Uh, why not make the antenna longer or, or yeah longer, and then maybe this will shift over. Well, even if I put two 11-inch bars on the antenna, like, you know, extension tubes, this is not bolt, this is not move, um, which, you know, the transformer or the, you know, the, the thing that's in the bottom, uh, that seems to be locking in where it's supposed to. One, one other thing, too, that I've probably mentioned is that... The Empath Light, um, when you buy it, it gives you one radio, but uh, you can buy more than one radio. It would be interesting to know if you put two more radios, three more radios, what your SWR would be, or could it shift? Definitely it'd be more efficient. But if you watch my other videos, you'll see that I do put some additional radios. Okay, so this is. Uh, just a data point. And then let me let me um, phrase it this way. This is one data point, one observation, right? Other people have probably had different type of success with the Empass, uh, with the Empass Light or the Empass, the the original one, the 2.0 or something. So this just consider this as just another data point, another conversational point. To give you to understand, like, is this something for you? And this is something that I, I definitely uh, felt like uh, could be a solution for me. Uh, because, you know, it has a wide range of, uh, of possible um, bands that I can use this antenna for with a tuner. So if you have a tuner and an IC705... This is this is a good um, good antenna for you. You don't have the tuner for the IC705, um, then yeah, 20 meter band might work if you like SWRs close to three. Um, but in the 17 meter band, 15 meter band, probably even the 12 meter band, you should you should be okay. 10 meter band it starts going up again. Uh, again, how do you how do you change that? Um, and again, it's, again, oh, one other thing too. If you look at the documentation, yes, it says you have, um, you have to have a tuner to make this operate well. Okay, so I hope this was informative. Um, please be safe, and I hope to see you out there. This is Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.